Well, as we work toward reopening, more cases are being reported in connection to Midland Medical Lodge. Tonight, new details coming out about the nursing home where we've seen an outbreak of COVID-19. Inspection reports, reports done by the Department of Health and Human Services paint a clearer picture of what was going on at Midland Medical Lodge before the COVID-19 outbreak. News West 9, Sammy Still has been following the story from the very beginning. Sammy, what did you find? Good evening, Crystal. Since April 3rd, the lodge has had 13 staff members and 24 residents test positive for the virus. Three of those residents have died from COVID-19 complications. But what was the lodge like before the outbreak? Well, according to state and federal health inspections, not great. One citation even foreshadowing the outbreak we're seeing now. Recently, Midland Medical Lodge has been in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. The nursing home alone accounting for just under half of the COVID-19 cases in Midland County. About six months ago, before the virus, the lodge was cited for not maintaining an infection control program, meaning there was no plan in place for preventions and stopping the transmission of infections. Quote, based on observation, interview and record review, the facility failed to maintain an infection control program designed to help prevent the development and transmission of infection. The report goes on to read, this failure could affect residents by placing them at an increased and unnecessary risk of exposure to communicable diseases and infections. Medicare gave Medical Lodge one star out of a possible five stars for health inspections, rating it much below average. The rating is based on the number of citations a nursing home has received over the last three years. The facility has had 13 health citations, while the state average is only 6.9. State records show the facility's most recent inspection was done in January of 2019. Six citations were given at that time. Four were violations of the state's health code and two were violations of the state's life safety code. According to the Health and Human Services website, two of the January violations stem from an incident involving a nursing aide removing a resident's oxygen tube and forgetting to put it back. The resident's oxygen levels fell to 84% before a family member realized the tube was not in the resident's nose. News West 9 has repeatedly tried to reach out to Midland Medical Lodge administrators and owners for comment on the citations and COVID-19 outbreak. How exactly are they handling the situation? But they have not returned our request for comment. The only person who's commented on the situation is Midland Memorial Hospital CEO Russell Myers, who helped test everyone at the lodge. Here's what he had to say this morning. So if we'd identified uh, the potential for an outbreak there sooner, then we would have gone in and tested sooner. Uh, whether it would have made a lot of difference in the outcome of, of those patients or not, it's hard to say. The hospital is still waiting on a handful of testing results to come back from the lodge. That means we could see more than 39 positive COVID-19 cases that come from there. Reporting from my home studio, Sammy Steele, News West 9.